Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 10th of 2023 is titled Big Dipper over Pyramid Mountain. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in and take a look. And we see here that we, the Big Dipper up in the sky, one of the better known uh, combinations of stars. It's actually not a constellation. Constellations are specific groupings and there are 88 constellations in the sky. The Big Dipper happens to be a part of the constellation of Ursa Major, which is the Great Bear. So it is the stars that we see in part of that constellation and it is what we call an asterism. An asterism is a grouping of stars which can be within a constellation or can compose stars from multiple constellations. Now the stars in the Big Dipper sometimes also known as the plow and are actually related to each other, which is unusual for stars in a constellation. For the most part, when we look at the stars in a constellation, they can be at widely varying distances. You might find one star that's only a couple of dozen light years away, while a star apparently near it in the constellation could be thousands of light years away. So we lose the perspective of distance when we look up into the sky. And we don't really see that there's a third dimension there of distance. Because when we look at the stars, for example, looking at the stars of the Dipper, we can't really tell how far away they are relative to one another. But we can find out that they are related because they seem to be moving in roughly the same direction. And in fact, five of the seven stars are moving in almost the same direction and will remain in the relative same position over a long period of time. Those are the middle stars there. So going from Alcor and Mizar, Mizar up at the top down to Merrick at the lower right hand side. Those five stars in the middle are all moving in the same direction. The other two stars on the ends are actually moving in slightly different directions and will slowly change the appearance of the dipper over time. Now it won't happen super fast. It will take many thousands of years. But if we could trace back what the dipper looked like 10,000 years ago, it didn't look quite like it did today. And if we could look ahead 10 or 20,000 years in the future, the dipper will no longer look the same as it does today either. The positions are slowly changing. Now all of the stars in the sky move and they might move at random directions relative to one another. Some like these here are moving in roughly the same direction and keep a pattern for a long time. But the patterns that we see of the constellations have not always been the same and will continue to change over time as the stars move. It's just that the motions are so small that we don't notice it in a very short time frame. So in an individual lifetime, we're never going to notice any changes to the Big Dipper. However, if we make very careful measurements of their positions, we can measure those motions and even determine how much they're moving each year. So that was our picture of the day for December 10th of 2023. It was titled Big Dipper over Pyramid Mountain. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sun Change. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.